All right, starting up the recording again. And welcome back to Ben Plays Mass Effect. We are on Mass Effect 2. Uh, the chat room was gracious enough to throw out our next destination, which is we're going to go help Zaid. So let's uh, let's take that. Um, let's see, OMF says he didn't really like Jacob. After a horse, he thought that he was a cool dude. I gotta say, he's actually not that bad. Why am I getting fuel? I know I'm full. Um... I don't know, I never did his romance arc, honestly, just because I I tend to not go for humans. Just, you know, doing something different. But I gotta say, Fem Shep is the only Shep Afro, Afro Horsey. Simple as that. Okay, so I've been bringing Garrus and Morden with me pretty much everywhere. So now I just have to figure out if I want to take... Uh, Garrus or Morden with me to help out Zaid. But regardless, we got this figured. Alright. If I remember correctly, we're just going to go kill someone. But I honestly don't recall. Because it's been a while since I've done this loyalty mission. Usually I do it really quick, just kind of get it out of the way. But, you know, we'll see. Um, heck, let's go with Morden. I just love Morden so much. Oh, what do you know? Okay, cool. Well, we're good there. Carnifex hand cannon, locust. Okay, it's best of that, best he can have for that. And here we go! Oh yeah, OMF. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I'm kind of glad that uh, we didn't do that romance office run. Because once I had to three, I knew that it would be an issue. <laughs> but man, does it make it so good. And look out for ambush. What is this mission? Just hunt down and kill people? Oh, there's dead people. Shot in the back and rot. Yeah. Definitely Let's kill Vito. Let's Hello, little monkey thing. Guess we're going down here. Pop up, say hi. Oh, come on, that hit. Come on. If enjoy. <laughs> that killed him. Kit. Force 
Reinforcements incoming. We got your backs. Whoop. Take care of that, Morden. Yeah, that's right, fall back, because guess what? We are coming for you. And you are going down. Ooh, yay! You know, okay. CPDA, I always still think of public ways of affection as opposed to personal de application or whatever. Apprentice. Anytime you see laugh. Now get the hell back out there. Vito. Sound like he hasn't. <laughs> yeah. Sound he needs to get shot. I just see you and I agree. I knew he was as if this bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got mean after he staged his little coup many years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you found the Blue Suns? It's not common knowledge. Yeah, wiped me out of the records. He ran the books. I led the men. Worked real well for him. Then Vito decided to hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turning men against me. He paid six of them to Rishi while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, ain't that bastard every time I cut my eyes, every time I down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a damn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. It's not okay, good call. can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an aesthetic. We better get moving. <laughs> you know, I think I almost awed me on this one. I probably should have done that again. Yay, Pleiadian. Well, you're going down, buddy. You find down, Vito. Don't be stupid company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or kill on my command. Take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Uh -huh. <laughs> an old friend. Person. Yeah. <laughs> Masani. Improvising. Tough. Was that a Wilhelm scream? Oh. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I want about it first. I was confident. Had a lot of money. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up, no way he's getting out of here alive. Make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Remember that. Came here to kill Fido Santiago. <laughs> you want my help? You better make damn sure that man dies today. You want him dead, then he dies. I don't care what else happens, as long as Fido. Okay, stars. okay. Well, you know. Oop. Better switch weapons. Oh. And this whole place is going down. Oh, we got this. Oh, hi, guys. 
We're trapped! We can smell them to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle dock, Spider. Get where you want Vito dead. Would it be worth watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around to watch. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm playing. Classy in my way. No! Damn it. No! I'm glad you're me. I don't know if I'll come in the face after that. Uh, now I have to hear all the people screaming too? Jeez. <laughs> like, that is what I'm hearing, because otherwise I'm really, really, really guilty. Interesting. Is my video artifacting and laggy? It doesn't like it for me, really. Yeah, everything's looking okay on my end, OMF. Oh, no, wait. I see what you're talking about. Hmm. It's not the stream, or it's not it anyway. I think this is a pretty short mission, so I'll the stream after I'm done with this and uh, get it going for the last bit. Uh, that is people screaming. Oh my god, this is the worst mission ever. The internet wanted me. This is what happens, people. Ugh. Oh, hello. Engaging hostiles! <gasps> Yeah, I know. I let it up, left it up for other people to choose. It's horrible. I've actually, gone through and played Renegade Ingly, so that is a word. Hey, 
Okay, apparently that one's not. One of them worked right. Man, big firefight here. You done yet? Oh, jeez. Stop shooting, thank you. Okay, well, looks like that bit's done. Let's go that way. Which means we go this way to see if there's other stuff we can get. Valuable industrial bits. Or water. Nope. What's over here? More various industrial bits. What if there's going to be any various industrial bits in here? Uh, no, surprisingly, actually. Okay, so that's where we go. One less spot. Remember, this is actually still an RP, even though it's very action-y. And nothing. That is a weird sound. It was 20 years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Naid, please. I'm gonna die here, man. Do something. Try, you son of a bitch. Oh. Well, I guess that's done. A lot of play though. That's nice. Man, that was a really fast mission. I'm glad it's over. I feel horrible about it. Okay. Well, thanks. You know what? That was the appropriate time to tell me, Kelly. Thank you. So, green text. I'm not completely sure you. Whatever. You're still alive. Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay, well, we could talk to everybody, but we're good. Let's just go talk to Samara because that she has stuff to say. And then I guess that's that's it for this episode. Well, actually, you know what? I could do the, one of the fire walking missions really quick. How long those take? 
That's okay, though. Now we'll stick with the plan. The port. Hey, you're not sorry. Dang it, starboard. I knew that. Hey, Samara has. Oh, let me guess. There's something you want me to do. Came. I must ask for your help. That is not E for me. It's all right. Tell me what you need. When we met Liam, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A club called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life. And there came a just a car. Tell me oh. about her. She is an odd yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari. The great wind. It means demon of the night winds. But that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without me. You're dangerous too. As are you. He is different. Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhage your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now we have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life illusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Ken? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Ari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Mark does not want to be cured, she won't be. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. No, I think no you just said them. That's what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. Three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. It can't be easy to talk about. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in King her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. Where did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, venturing. I killed people, made it with them, or just danced night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask in my family. But in one moment, it's all taken away. We've all suffered, Samara. I'm not asking for your pity. I aim to explain why this is so important to me. Shall I stop? Going. I'm listening. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted bird droned at me, and I learned nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. The moments change you. And I have hundreds of years left to live with that. 
I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Uh, old Man Franks, I don't... Like, even playing through Renegade, I don't think that that's what this shepherd would do. So, probably not. And partly since I'm going through to Mass Effect 3, I highly doubt that I'd take that road. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. Okay, apparently he is definitely done talking to me. Already discussed. I should go. Okay. Turn to my meditations. Okay. Well, I guess we could try talking to Need, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, Oma, if you know what happens at the end game if you make that choice. It's pretty much the end of the game. Why do you have that open? Thinking of last missions. Come in it. You might learn something. Tough fight, Eisen. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but none like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skeddy system. Girl woke up, fought her way out. Got picked up by my band, well into Omega. Eight years old. Should have had no child. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? Have fun. I'm totally taking one. Oh, yeah. That's a model of the Varicam. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since. But nothing so sweet as watching yeah, you Syrian warship crash planet side. All right. Well, since I've officially got no one to talk to, uh, that is actually going to be the end of this well YouTube episode. So, thank you for joining me, everybody. And uh, yeah, this was a short one, but trust me, we've got a lot more game to play. So in the meantime, take care of yourself, be good to everybody, and have a good night. Thanks, Kelly. No messages. Yeah, I get no it. No messages for you.